It's my great honor to be invited as a speaker. In the last session, I would like to talk about this topic. Detection of a negative uh, correlation between prescription of Chinese herbal products containing homestrong, genestin, or design, and the risk of a subsequent endometrial cancer among breast cancer survivors. I'm Dr. Hu Yichen. I'm an attending physician in the Department of Chinese Medicine, also an acupuncture specialist. I, wor I was double majoring in medicine and Chinese medicine in my un university and got both doctor license. The reason why we raise up the issue is because uh, in Taiwan, we have a very high coverage rate of national health insurance si system and with very extremely low costs. And that will ma make the people in Taiwan uh, the visit Chinese medical doctor and, medi and medical doctors very easily. So um, sometimes the people in Taiwan, they will, they will uh, seek for help for, uh, for both medical doctors. But is, it is really safe for the uh, breast cancer survivors to expose to phytoestrogen herbs especially when they already under tamoxifen treatment. We've been focused on the tamoxifen treated breast cancer patients. Especially uh, in, in our study population, there are around one third of the population uh, has ever exposed to vital estrogen during our study period. <coughs> we already know that the tamoxifen is a associated with the increase of endometrial cancer risk. However, the design, one of the active components of phytoestrogen, have been proved to uh, cause the carcinogenicity in animal models. But such effects in human beings is still controversial. We figure out that the active components of phytoestrogen were Design, Kumstrom, Genestine. So uh, we, we also figure out that among those phytoestrogen herbs, the most, uh, there are five species contain such active components for the most. They were Gegen, Wu Gu Zi, Huai Hua, Hu Sengen, and Dan Dou Shi. And we got our data from our national health insurance insurance database. As I said, we have a, a very high coverage rate, could up to 99%. And our study cohort is uh, for 11 years. And our national health, uh, our research database would provide us with one billion random sample. And our story would go from this one billion random sample first. We exclude the all female breast cancer patients, then exclude the whoever are too old or too young. Then we exclude the previous cancer diagnosis. Then exclude the previous hysterectomy. Then we also exclude the subsequent uterine cancer less than one year followed by breast cancer diagnosis to make uh, enough induction time for development of the endometrial cancer. Next, we exclude the people who, uh, who never use of tamoxifen. And next, we exclude people without use, without use uh, Kumstrom, Genestine, or Denzine. And finally comes to come up with group A and group B. In group A, you may see it's a tamoxifen user without, uh, with the usage of gen genestine, kumstrom, or design. And group B patients also tamoxifen users, but they never come to Chinese medical doctors. Both the groups were breast cancer patients. So we may see uh, this table one is the general data for the group A uh, to 
for group A and group B. Group A, um, patients with the usage of Chinese herbal products containing Kumstrong genestan or design. Group B, uh, tamoxifen users without any Chinese medical visits. In, in table two, we may see the result is uh, the most common reason for group A patients for their visit is for disease of respiratory system. Table three shows that uh, in group A patients, uh, they will ex among the five species, they were exposed to gherkin for the most, with the, the average cumulative TP dose per person could up to 182 grams. A group, um, in table four is our key finding, uh, findings. Uh, as we really want to know if there is any uh, consequence between group, group A and group B patients, so we do the, uh, the drugs, uh, adjust hazard ratio to see if it, the risk is increased or not. And we found that uh, for the most subgroup, uh, for people who ever take uh, phytoestrogen, uh, who ever take Chinese herbal products containing Kumstrong, genestin, or Denzyme, the risk for them to develop endometrial cancer is not higher. But some people may wonder because um, uh, within our study group, uh, some people would expose to oral control pills. So we constant, so we uh, concentrate our study population uh, into non-productive age here, from 55 years old and older and do, the, do it over. Uh, we found the similar results, except for this subgroup, uh, cumulative uh, tamoxifen dose up to 30,000 uh, 30, milligrams. The uh, uh, risk is a, li a little bit higher. So, uh, when we come to a conclusion that is, basically there is a negative relationship between Kumstrom, genistine, or design consumption and sub subsequent endometrial cancer among our study group. But the further studies are uh, oriented to clarify the safety of safety concern about uh, Gergen and Tamoxifen interaction. However, our study has several uh, study limitations because our national, our national endurance research database do, does not contain histology, his pathology reports. But all of these patients were confirmed by oncology specialists. And second, uh, this study did not include the over-the-count Chinese herbal products. And third, this study is only a predictive of nature and need further randomized control trials. And the last, the daily food may contain phytoestrogen too, but we know that uh, the, the, concent the active concentration of soybean is actually uh, 100 times smaller than, than gherkin. So the influence, in, the influence is small. And last uh, is my advisor, Professor Lai, and Professor Lai is not able to come, so I'm behalf on behalf of him. Thank you.